In this video, we're going to look at using StatCrunch for testing a hypothesis using a p-value approach. So here's our hypothesis. And we have the N250, X110, and the significance level 0 0.01. We need to figure out this information first. And that just is by putting the P0 and the N in there and then calculating this out. So you can do that by hand. So we just take the inequality. Plug in the information, we see that this left-hand side is 60, and that's greater than or equal to 10, so it's true. So we can move on. That means we can use a normal distribution to use the, the values to create the p-value. If, if this was false, we'd have to go through a binomial distribution. Okay, now let's uh, use StatCrunch to get this information. Click the StatCrunch button. Go into the Stat, Proportions, One Sample. And then we have a summary of data. The number of successes are the x value, 110. Number of observations was the n, 250. Click Next. We're doing a, um, a hypothesis test. So we got a, the um, p naught needs to go here. Our p naught is going to be this value right here, 0 0.4. So 0 0.4. And then we need to choose which test we're doing. We're doing greater than. So the alternative is greater than that. Click Next. And then Calculate. And then this gives our information. There's the statement as shown. And then our, our proportion P with our sample proportion standard, deviate, standard error, Z statistic, and the P valued back here is what we want. So 0 0.0984, and we put that into there. Now, the last question asks us you know, whether we reject or not reject the null hypothesis. And we reject the null hypothesis because this value here is greater than the level of significance. If this value would be less than this value, so here's the, one of the statements made in the book. If the p-value is less than the alpha or the level of significance, then you reject the null hypothesis. Or in other words, if this is greater than alpha, you do not reject the null hypothesis. So we do not reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is greater than alpha. All right, let's look at this problem here. We read through here, it says previously 4% of the mothers smoked more than 21 cigarettes during their in pregnancy. An obstetrician excuse me, an obstetrician believes that the percentage of mothers who smoke 21 cigarettes or more is less than 4% today. She randomly selects 125 pregnant mothers and finds that four of them smoke 21 or more cigarettes during pregnancy. Test the researcher's statement to at the alpha equals 0 0.05 level of significance. So we identify the null and alternative hypothesis. Basically, the null was that there was 4% at the beginning. Now we want to test whether it's less than 4%. And we first need to f find this information here to see if it follows that we can use a normal distribution to justify this. And we find that after putting these values in, n is 125, p0 is the 0 0.04, that we get actually 4.8. This is not true. We cannot use a normal distribution to solve or to, to do this test of Okay, so we have to go to a binomial distribution when the numbers are small like that. So instead, we open up StatCrunch and we go to the binomial. So Stat, Calculators, and Binomial. We use the N125, the probability of success, 0 0.04, right, the P0 as the probability of success. And then it says that we find that four of them smoke 21 cigarettes during the day. So basically we want to know if it's less than four, right? Less than or equal to four. The reason why we want less than or equal to four is because we want the probability of zero, one, two, three, four. We want all of that, that area to the left of that in a binomial distribution. So we go down here and we change this to a less than or equal to and we change our numbers to 4 and we click compute. 
and this gives us our p-value that we are to use, 0 0.4369, 0 0.4369. Now, again, this p-value is obviously not less than this level of significance, it's greater than. So we are not going to reject the null hypothesis. And so the correct answer is, um, is there significant evidence to support the abstention statement? Well, the statement is that she's thinking that there's now uh, less than 4% that smoke. And no, we do not have enough evidence to support that because um, this just says not to reject the null hypothesis. So don't reject this. So it's about 4%. There's not enough evidence to support otherwise. So no, because the p-value is greater than alpha, there's not sufficient evidence to conclude the percentage of mothers who smoke 21 or more cigarettes during pregnancy is less than 4%, meaning we do not reject the null hypothesis. So this is only used when this inequality is not true. Then we go and use the binomial distribution.